I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Seaside, Oregon for Wheels and Waves. Man, is this a nice place. And what a cool show right on the main drag of this aptly named Seaside Town. Perfect weather, wonderful cars, I'm in heaven. Keith, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, Dennis. How you doing? What a day, man. Not bad. <laughs> Not, Not bad. bad. What a cool setting, though. It is. I it mean, is. Seaside's such a neat little town anyway. And man, you got them packed in here. How long has the show been going on? This is our 16th year. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Man, oh man. So is it mostly a Pacific Northwest show? Do you draw people from, you know, Oregon, Northern California? A lot. We, we have some from uh, BC. And we oh, actually really? have, we have oh. one car from California. Uh -huh. I've seen some Arizona plates on some of the cars too. So everybody wants to go to Seaside. It's it's more than just a day at the beach. Oh man, it, it is. And you guys do this for like four days. I mean, so it's yeah. cool. You, you come here for this long weekend and just sort of hang out. Yep, they just hang out, have a great time. And, and the beach is so so awesome here too. I it mean, is. that's a big, long, broad it's, beach, man. It's probably the most accessible beach in the state. And I have never seen more kite shops yeah. in my life. I mean, because there's always a wind here, and there's so many kites up in the air. It just yeah, looks so cool. It's not always super windy, but there's usually a light breeze, so you yeah. different kites that fly in different velocities. So you guys so got it. You got it down to a size. We've got it dialed in. <laughs> and then, then like this afternoon, when it breaks, everybody does some cruising. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We have a cruise from five to five forty-five, and and the streets are just lined up with spectators to watch these cool cars go all through town. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's a great setting, great town. You know, the waterfront, the beach is so awesome. And speaking of that, let's go check the beach out. Let's, maybe we can fly a kite. We might. Well, Joe, this is a pretty strong little dart, you know? Probably one of the strongest darts I've ever seen. It's a 65 Dart GT. GT convertible. I mean, it's so dart. You know, you got the round headlights, you got the, you know, it's kind of almost pedestrian looking grill. But I love what you did. You painted the bumper. It looks like it sucked back a yes, little, is that? Yes, that one there we, we sucked in. We welded the bolts on the inside of the bumper, obviously, because there's no carriage bolts out here. Hey, did you powder coat the... That's that's correct. All the uh, all the trim that's on the car that you see now in the, in the uh, Silver Flake, uh -huh. which is actually uh, Porsche Platinum, uh, is all powder coated. That's nice. And then these, the little fins were... Was... These were part of the trim package that went down on the GTs, and they have the little GT actually, emblem on them. That's what that says, it's GT. That's correct. And these uh, indents here on the hood were there. That's and then correct. To give the scallops, it really sets them yes. off. And the, that didn't have that scoop. That actually looks like a Super B scoop. That is correct. That is that, Super uh, B. It 60, is a Super B. 69 and a half Super B scoop. Uh, Pretty cool uh, wheels, too. Thank you. These are, believe it or not, Les Schwab's. Oh, I don't no believe kidding. they make these anymore. So the seats look pretty cushy. What are they out of? 2001 eight way electric heated Acura. <laughs> that, <laughs> come out now that's Acura. cushy. I like how you worked your tack and, and your gauges into this console. You had to create that, right? That is correct. I wanted to keep the original dash as original as possible, but I wanted some functional, yeah. uh, dependable gauges. And then here again, that trim, you used to have trim here, right? That is correct. But that trim had... used to come all the way down the back here and turn back here. And because I wanted to simplify the car, smooth up the lines, I pulled the trim off and it had a little concave section when the, where the clips were yeah. to hold the trim. So we had to fill this in back to the original height. Pretty honking, uh, what, Flowmaster exhaust? I got Flowmaster uh, 44s in the system. I got three inch exhaust from the back to the tail tips, which are four inch. And you brought the, there's no dent here, but you brought the scowls back to match the To front. match the hood. So it says 440, let's go look under the hood. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, that's a pretty serious engine in there. <laughs> With the craziest headers I think I've ever seen. Up and over and down, right? Correct. So what did the engine come out of? That came out of a 1978 motorhome. It's a 440, came out of a Dodge motorhome. What kind of horsepower are you pushing with this thing? I had it dynoed here this winter when I put on the aluminum heads and I'm pushing 400 at the wheels <laughs> and 475 <laughs> torque. Joe, 65 Dodge Dart GT 440, full roll cage, totally crazy, I respect that. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Beautiful My car, pleasure. Joe. She's just ducky, <laughs> isn't she? Just ducky. Well, Chuck, this is a mighty pretty 59 Impala. I saw it 
the other day and I, I'm not sure exactly what caught my eye. I mean, I love the color, the stance, the wheels. It just all comes together and just kind of works together. This actually though, this is actually your wife's car, right? It is. Uh, everything appearance related was uh, predicated by what she wanted to do. To her did, spec. To her specification. <laughs> now she's a real car lady. We've got several other hot rods and she knows what she's doing around these yeah, things. Yeah. She was very specific about finding this color and her fortunately the fellow. What is it? Well, it's a mid 90s GM color that we added some metal flake to. Yeah, that's a, it's just a, it's not a hard one to blend to, to match. It won't be real difficult to match if you went after it that way. That's the, that's, that's the, the original, original aluminum, yeah, it's aluminum a, grill, but it's been chrome plated. Right, well, the chrome just brought everything out. I love the two door hard top. It's just so open. And man, the interior, again, I just, this is kind of a stock pattern almost, isn't it's, it? The design is stock, only we use, you know, later model materials. Uh -huh. And then you've chromed out the gauge pod, yes. which is one of the coolest gauge pods ever. The Chevrolet made, yeah, they came up with that as Hot a... Hot rodders love those. Right. You see them in everything, right. you know? Right. And these are some of the craziest fins, Yeah. The you know, that laid down and then that big swoop. And I remember these when I was a kid. You'd see these at night yeah. going down the road, and it always reminded me of a Siamese cat, right. you know? It's just <laughs> you really see these because these are LEDs. Oh, you, oh, you really yeah, brighten them so, up. Huh? And then they're cut to fit. <laughs> well, you've done a lot of stuff. Uh, Let's go look and see what you got under the hood. Okay. Open it up, man. Okay, it's not real tidy and clean in here, but it has been rubbed on plenty. This is a pretty highly modified small block Chevy. It's a 427 inch small block. I took a 400 block and put a four inch crank in it. And that led to a lot of interference problems in terms of getting the rotating assembly past the cylinder block. Man, Chuck, this is a beautiful car, 59 Impala. Love the stance, love the color, and it's all your, your wife's design. Right. She's got good taste in spite of the fact she married you. Oh, thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Thanks thank for you bringing for it out, man. Thank you for the attention you've given our car. It's We're very a beauty. proud of it. Scott, this, is, this, is, this may be one of the funkiest little cars here. This is a, <laughs> what, a 48 Crosley yes. pickup. It was one of the rarer models. They only made about 2,000 pickup trucks. I always thought these looked like appliances. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's kind, of, kind of like an appliance. Yeah. But you've done just such cool stuff to this. The hot rod black on it and the scallops. You've really done some tasteful stuff. I love the, the dash. That wasn't a Crosley layout there on the instruments. No, I think it wasn't. Like, there was like only one gauge, wasn't there? Um, they had two big gauges. They had okay. one that was the, just the speedometer, and then the second one was, um, you know, like the four gauges. I reskinned the front area where the gauges went uh -huh. on, and then I left the speaker with the plan that I was going to do my bottle opener. Because what Coca-Cola Mobile would be without a bottle without opener. a bottle opener? So, so tell me about the Coca-Cola thing, because this is what I mean. I like Crosleys anyway, but this really <laughs> caught my eye. I mean, this looks like, like you know, the real deal stuff. It came off of a Coke cooler, and I was working on it one night, and. I figured it'd be easier to modify the bed to say Coke than it would be to modify the cooler to fit the truck. Up underneath here is um, my uh, tunnel cover, and back here I've got a uh, jump seat for when oh, yeah, um, that's I've nice. got... Uh, so you can just take that off and off you go and everybody has a good time? Yep. And really? she just sits on there? Yeah, it does. It doesn't blow off? No. That's nope, amazing. nope, Velcro, the wonders of Velcro. Ah, yes, isn't that a wonderful material? Then it just comes down and lays out here, huh? Yep. Oh, that is awesome. But you've done an engine swap and everything too, right? I, I did. Let's I, go I, look at I, that, I man. Put a, I put a Datsun B210 motor and transmission in it. Oh, man, check that out. That fits great. Yeah. And you kept the Crosley on the valve cover? Yes, I did. <laughs> did it slide in there pretty good? It did. It did. did. You get I, it? I just had to do a little bit of modifying to the frame. This thing probably scats. It does. It, it does. It, it'll do 70 miles an hour with no problem. That may so. not be a good idea, no. but it will do it, right? <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful place, great setting, great show. And, and you've got the funkiest little car oh. here. <laughs> but before we go, I need you to sign this. Oh, sure. Well, I can do that. Put the stash there. We'll date it. Now, nah, Steve, it'll be timeless that way. There I we love go. it. <laughs> hey, man. All right. Thank Beauty. you very much. Thanks a lot. Ron, this is a beautiful car, man. Thank 61 you. 61 Olds Dynamic 88, right? That's it. Yeah. Uh, man, these are rare cars. You don't see too many of them around. It's your basic bubble top. Pretty cool grill. Is that cast? Yeah, that's all cast. So you don't yeah. want to, I mean, those will break, those You don't want to try to straighten it because no. it'll pop. Tink, cool color too. It's a, yeah. it's a, it? it's a summer racing color. It's called Mojave Beige Pearl. Your wheels are cool too. Wheels are called street lights. 
they just kind of match the car and the, and the steering wheel up there. When we get up to see that, you'll see it's the same matches the same pattern there. I mean, it's just you know the bubble tops. These bubble tops look so great because they got this tiny little C pillar. That's it. But you, I mean, you've really done some stuff in here. They didn't originally have that maroon backing on the gate. No, did they it? didn't. Uh, what I did is I asked the guy in North Hollywood uh, speedometer shop to match the color of my seats, which is burgundy. He says, well, how about burgundy metallic? Oh, it just, I mean, that yeah. really sets it up. You know, and of course, Olds is, is known for ovals. You got right, ovals all right, over the place. Right. And it looks now like you got you got a couple extra ovals. A couple there. extra ones right there. That used to be the old stock speaker right there. And what we did is we cut those and made it form, look like part of the gauge package. But uh -huh. that's your air conditioning heating duct oh. <laughs> for the middle. Oh, yeah. shoot, it looks so smooth. You know, I, I love this car all around, but it's it's this look. It's the, it's the back of this it's car. It's a different look. It really is different. Yeah. You know, the cut in here that, that gives you these kind of thruster taillights. Right. And then these, I don't know, deflector fin bumper things here? I think so. There's like navigation tail or something. Like that. <laughs> when you're flying down the road, you just hit the right rudder, left rudder, you know? <laughs> but man, what you did with the exhaust right. is really cool because that, that wasn't stock. They no. came out underneath, right? That used to be the, the backup lights. You've done so much to this. I got to believe you did some stuff under the hood. Let's go see what you got. Okay, let's take a look. Voila. Wow, voila indeed. That's not what came with it. What was no, the original engine? No, it's not engine? stock. It used to be a 394. Now we're looking at a 496 big block Chevy stroker motor with fuel injection. <laughs> well, you really don't screw around, do you? No, no, you're going to go go big or don't go out. You know? <laughs> and it looks like you did have to do a little bit of twisting and turning uh, with yeah, the headers. Yeah, matter of fact, we made those custom and then down here where the fan, I've got maybe a quarter inch before it hits the compressor <laughs> for the air conditioning, so it's, it's a little tight. Little tight. So have you ever been to the Seaside Show? No, I never have been. So where'd you, where'd you come in from? From Shasta, California, 500 miles to wow, get here. Wow, that, that's a long way. That's a little bit, but you know, nothing's too far to be a good show like this. It, and it's, it's a nice nice little place for a show. That's beautiful. Nice day, hot day. Hot day, hot, hot day. cars. Hot, and this one may be the hottest one here. <laughs> there Rock. you go. 61 Olds Dynamic 88. Right. I love it. Thank you. Well, Rob, this has got to be the prettiest 48 Chevy pickup I've ever seen in my life. This thing is gorgeous, man. Well, thank you. This paint is killer. What is this color, man? A basic 2013 Toyota Tundra spruce mica green. It's almost a, it's a rainbow flake, or is it a gold flake? I don't know. Yeah, man. it's got a little bit of gold and a little bit of bronze and a touch of uh, red in there. And Yeah. Oh, jeez. The detail work on it is incredible. The grill's great. Chromed it all out. But then you've even got the, you know, those lures back there uh, painted and everything. Yeah, yeah, to match the interior. And you've kept pretty much a stock looking dash over there. It didn't have that cream striping in there. No. That was all just chrome. Maybe it was a black. I can't remember if the inside was black. It actually was kind of a gray in between. Okay. The way you've done the gauging here and those, you know, classic instruments, the, the multi pod there and then the speedometer, just beautiful. How about your steering wheel? That's from a 57 Chevy. 57 Chevy? Yeah. yeah. Now these had, because I learned to drive on the farm in a truck that was very similar to, I think it was a 50. They had a floor starter, and you've still got a floor starter. I wanted to try and keep the truck as much original as I possibly could. So it literally starts with the... Yeah, it literally starts the truck. <laughs> yeah. The wheels are nice, too. What are those? Those are vintage wheels. We painted them gold. And curly maple bed. I love that. And, and yeah. The cherries? Uh... Well, the cherries, it's kind of honor my grandpa. He was a cherry grower. Uh -huh. And so I used to help him go down every summer and help him with cherry harvest. And uh, that's how I ended up with the truck. He paid me $200. And oh I asked him if $200 would buy this truck. And so I gave him the $200 back and got the truck instead. And, and he thought you were nuts. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now this would have had a straight six, what, 235 or something? 216. 216, okay. Yeah. Probably not. With the look at the rest of the truck, that ain't in there anymore. Let's see what you got. Okay. Oh yeah, that's no 216. No. <laughs> Man, that, that looks like the old 57 uh, fuel-y, fuel injection. That's kind of the idea. We wanted to make it look old school. But it's, that's a modern. That's a modern. So it actually works, because the '57 ones never worked yeah, that way. No, this yeah, this one works. So what, what's the engine? It's a 350 ramjet fuel injected. Uh huh. And a crate engine. We just wanted to make it look old school. This is beautiful. 48 Chevy Thriftmaster, the prettiest Chevy pickup I have ever seen. Thank you. That is beautiful, Robin. Man, the Wheels and Waves show here in Seaside, Oregon, is just awesome. I love coming out here. The only problem is it's a long way trip back home is going to take a while. <laughs>